In this next case, we see the gully god, Movado, going up against the king of the Gaza, Vibes Cartel. Movado claims that the attacks from Vibes Cartel are clearly inspired by Bad Mind. And Cartel says the streets are saying otherwise. All this and much more in the case of... Angels and Demon Demons. All rise. The Honorable Judge Mutabaruka presiding, you understand? You may be seated. Mr. Renito Adams? Yes, I'm here, sir. You have been chosen for bailiff duty today, Bridget. Okay, sir. Will both lawyers please approach the bench and state your names for the jury? Your Honor, I'm Ras Whitey, and I'm here to represent Movado. And we're uh, filing suit against uh, Vibes Cartel for gross misconduct. And Your Honor, I'm the b- baddest attorney in the world, and I'm here to represent Vibes Cartel. Oh, God, I'm say. And with that said, let the case begin with the prosecution. Prosecution, commence. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm here to tell you that we're here today... Because of one word, and that word is jealousy, okay? We're here because one man decided that only him and him alone should own this music industry. He has intimidated his way into the hearts of many Jamaicans. We're not Movado, not the Alliance, not the Gully side. Oh, no. The man that I'm referring to is... Vibes Cartel, the personification of evil, and evil incarnate, whatever. A fact that was made conspicuous by his own actions. And it's with this understanding that the prosecution calls to the stand, Vibes Cartel. All right, Mr. Palmer, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God? Yeah, yeah fuck spice for you. All right, well. Hold on. Be a lift. Yes, sir. That's irrelevant. Your Honor, no disrespect. But Pum Pum can never be irrelevant. I just want to know if she can tip on her two and take all those hard fuck that she sing about. Prosecution. Yeah. Begin questioning. Could you state your name for the record, please, sir? Everybody knows your Adija Palmer, a.k.a. Vibes Cartel. Yeah, me know, man. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Uh, Vibes Cartel. Yeah. How long have you known the plaintiff, Mr... David Brooks, a.k.a. Movado. Well, Vibes Scott, tell me where Movado from way back. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to refrain from all negative connotations, okay? You will refer to my client as uh, Movado or David Brooks, okay? Okay, now. How long would you term as uh, way back? When Vibes Scott tells us way back, we mean a long time, you know what I mean? Okay. Everybody knew Movado was my youth, you know what I mean? Reasonably. I know Movado from the name Singing Blacks. A.K.A. Trimming Blocks from Cassava Peace. Okay, Vibes. Yeah. You've been, on many occasions, described as one of the most articulate, intelligent Up to the time. artists of this century. In your own words, what would you say have caused this rift between yourself and Movado? Well, it all started when Vibes Cartel broke off with the Alliance. Because I refused to be a press button, you know what I mean? Well, me and Bunty kill have a falling out. And my father takes side with Bunty. My father is ungrateful, you know. After all that Vibes Cartel have done for it, I wrote five hit songs for him and told him in a star. I'm going to remind you that you're in a court of law and you need to choose your words wisely. The operative word that you've used here is ungrateful. But wouldn't you say that you yourself is a bit perfidious? Let me break it down. Disloyal. Treacherous. Objection, your honor. Uh, hold Objection. on, hold on. Hold on. That uh, the evidence I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I'm just explaining an inextricable truth here. Objection overruled. The prosecution may continue. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, I am going to prove to this court today, beyond a reasonable doubt, that this man sitting to my left, more popularly known as Vibes Cartel, saw my client Movado's ascent from rags to riches and became very discontent with his existence as a non-existent artiste. Clearly this man is a troubled individual. A fact that's been documented 
time and time again. His ruthlessness knows no bounds. Some time ago, he was supposed to settle a lyrical dispute and ended up kicking the crap out of Ninja Man. He's been banned from the U.S., islands in the Caribbean. It's alleged he's been banned from places like St. Louis, St. Martin, Barbuda, yeah. Grenada. Jesus Christ, yeah. the rate he's going, I don't think he can go to halfway tree. I'm you tell pussy me toward the whole world already. Africa alone, me nigga. Whatever. Say whatever, okay? Because I'm going to prove to this court today that Vibes Cartel's actions of ill fame and maliciousness towards Movado was not just some random act, but a premeditated desire by Vibes Cartel to replace Movado as the gangster for life. I'm going to play some songs done by Vibes Cartel that clearly depicts jealousy that derives from how my client Movado is living. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Exhibit A. Councilman, thank you, Your Honor, thank you. Now, we've all heard today, straight from the horse's mouth, we've heard him articulate his desire to rejuvenate his career, to set things uh, straight. He saw my client as his meal ticket. He saw Movado with that trailer load of money he so much desired and decided that he wanted a million dollars by a morning. Objection, Your you Honor. You son of a bitch. Objection, Your Honor. He is injecting personal feelings. Objection sustained. Councilman. Yes, Your Honor. Get to the point. Okay. My client's overwhelming success. Isn't this the reason, Mr. Vibes Cartel, no, no, that you, no, no, that you have chosen no, no, all no, no, the artists no, no, no. in the world mm. to try and belittle and tear down my client, Movado oh, David oh, Brown? No, no, no. Isn't that why? Answer the question. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Vibes Cartel don't bad mind Movado for nothing. Me or Vibes or me not sign for that. Yeah, you know what I said? Me even have a condom deal. You know what I mean? Who is Movado over Vibes Cartel? In can't even afford a good liar. You know what I mean? Look at you. What? Are you referring to me? Up to the top. Good. You say you've got condoms, right? Eh. Yeah. Well, go fuck yourself. Oh, shit. Oh, you fuck, man. Batty boy, go suck your mother. Uh huh. Cause I will come for you anywhere you're the Batty boy. Well, bring it on. I'm a fucking Israelite. Objection, Your Honor. The fucking of what?